right guys, hope you're ready for today. We're gonna to be talking about progressive overload. I'm sure a lot of you are in the gym, you hear this term and you're like, what actually is progressive overload? Well, today I'm gonna to give you examples. I'm also gonna give you a definition that you can follow so you can actually understand and get the picture of what it is, okay? You just saw me training, all right? You just saw me on the bench press. I did 12 reps. Is that my max? Maybe it is, maybe it's not. But the only way that you can tell if it is, is if I fail, right? When you fail, that's putting the stress on your body to tell you whether or not you can do more or less. Simply, progressive overload is a method of strength training and hypertrophy training that advocates for gradual increase of stress placed upon the musculoskeletal and the nervous system. All that means is putting more stress on your body, right? So when you get to those last reps and it's hard and you're struggling, that's putting a lot of stress on your body, which is gonna help you build more muscle as you resist the weight. So let me show you an example of what progressive overload is not, okay? Here we go. Let's say your training plan today says you have bench press, all right? Three sets, eight to 12 reps, okay? Now, I'm gonna get on here and I'm gonna show you. You can see, right, if I get eight reps easy on here, that means say I can go up in weight or I can get the 12 reps required, okay? So you shouldn't stop at eight. Let me show you what it looks like because it looks like you just, like you have more in you. You know, people say, yeah, you got more. That means you didn't get to the level you needed to be at. So, all right, here we go. My goal is 12 and I can do 12, but here we go. I did six and you just put the bar back. Knowing I could have got at least four more reps, okay? That means you didn't get the progressive overload. Now, if I go for 12, or again, here we go. I'm gonna add some weight, show you why, you know. This is how, ooh, how am I feeling today? It's a question. Can I do it? I don't have a spot, but let's see. I'm on camera so you know that camera strength kick in. Now, listen, progressive overload, it means you add more weight, okay? Or you can get those reps. So if you have 225, right, on the bench press, and you can get it for three sets 12 times, it means you hit your peak and it's time to increase and put more resistance on the body, which means now we're gonna add more weight, probably, because you wanna stay within that eight to 12, that's the hypertrophy range. You don't wanna go for endurance training, okay? That's a different story. You're trying to build muscle here. So here we go. I added weight and now, my, so my goal is like, let's go, let's go for six, all right? I want you to see how it looks, okay? And you can be the judge if I can do more than six. That's a real six, and that's the definition of progressive overload. That was a lot of stress. Let's move on to the next exercise. By the way, if you guys are in any gym training, please be courteous, take your weights off after you're done training, and re-rack your weights, huh? That's gym bro one-on-one. -on -one. Take your weights off, keep going. All right, guys. Gym bro, rule number two. Don't bro lift, safety is key, right? Use the clips, hit my clips. I'm about to do some triceps skull crushers. Today, I'm actually training chest and triceps. So I'm giving you somewhat of a summary of what I would actually do today. Uh, I don't know if I would go right to skull crushers, but I mean, either way, when you train, when you train two push muscles, you get fatigued fast. Be over here with it. Here we go. You guys know that progressive overload is not only increasing reps and weight, right? It's also time, time methods. So let's just say, right, if I'm going to do, let's say I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get 12 reps here. My, my goal is to get eight to 12 reps. Now, instead of doing two minutes rest, I would break it down to a minute and 30 reps, right? This is what we're going for on this set, decreasing your rest time. <clears throat> All right, hands go right here. Now, you guys hear me talk about triceps a lot. Gonna bring this behind the head and push behind the head. I'm not bringing it here. Keep behind the head. My elbows are stuck, all right? My elbows are stuck right here. 
I would just push up overhead. Gravity gonna pull it back down and just make it even harder. Three more. Ah. See, right there, I didn't get the maximized effort that I could have. So that means it's time to increase, right? A minute and 30 seconds, break. But at the same time, I know I could have did more reps, right? Remember, you know you can do more reps, add some weight, do something. Here we go. Five pounds. I got a minute and 30 to rest. Progressive overload key number two, all right? Rest time. Now rest time plays a big role because imagine when you tire, how much harder it is to train, right? That's why you can fight that, right? And my arms are still burning, about a minute in, and I'm, I'm gonna just go for it now. <clears throat> Behind the head. <clears throat> this is better than my last one. I had to move up on the bench. Ten. I got two more. My goal is eight to twelve. Ah. Oh. That was perfect. Now, in your training, right, in your program, it should be at least three sets. So you'll be doing another one of these in a minute and 30, which is gonna be your progression for this set, increasing weight or reps. All right, let's keep going. Exercise number three. All right, I'm gonna show you guys another form of progressive overload. This time, right, instead of rest time decreasing, we're going to do a tempo set, or you can say it's a tempo set, tempo uh, exercise. What we're gonna do, a flat dumbbell chest press. We're gonna take these down, right, in a concentric form. So we're gonna go four, three, two, one. Press it up, okay? Instead of you just doing the regular up and down, this is also gonna help you add some progressive overload to your training. Here we go, it gets hard. My rep range is eight to 12, okay? Remember, eight to 12, meaning the minimum I can get is eight. That's like the most I can get is 12. If I can go more than 12, it means I need to progress in weight, right? Here we go. <clears throat> This is where the struggle is. Oh my God. It doesn't help that I just did tricep, but you guys get the point. It's all the struggle, right? When you fight against resistance, that's when you build muscle. It don't gotta be super heavyweight. It just has to be, has to be hard. It has to be a challenge. So for this set, I'm taking my two minutes. I'll be right back. For the next set, just let me recover. Now you saw that 12 was my last rep. That, that's all I could get. I always tell people, if you're doing it like that, if 12 is the last rep that you can get, that means you're doing something right. You're actually working in progressive overload. If you're not, and you drop the weights at eight, knowing you could have got more, or you did like 15, then you know you're out of your rep range if it's from eight to 12. You can always tell if you're doing it right. Look at the pump. Pump don't lie, right? It puts stress on your body, which makes you get more blood flow and increases your pump. And of course, 
course, gives you more muscle mass over time. So all I did right here was use the concentric phase. We did four seconds down in regular one second back to the top. All right, that's another form of aggressive overload. I have one or two more to show you. All right, let's keep going. Ah. Common mistake on tricep extensions is most people do this and they do it light, right? End up getting like 15, 20 reps. Yeah, that's okay sometimes, right? You have to actually know what you're doing. I'm an experienced lifter, so if I go that, you know, high in reps, it's for a reason. But if you're starting the gym and you just watch these videos to be educated, you probably don't want to go that high in reps. All right, you want a challenging weight it's between eight and 12, right? That's the hypertrophy range. If you guys hear that term again, hypertrophy is in the eight to 12 range, okay? We're trying to build muscle, get some reps, and keep stress on the body. So that was perfect. All right, my last rep was at 12. Now, here we go. What I'm gonna do is increase my weight. So let me give you another picture of how this works. If I can get three sets of 12 reps, it means it's time to increase the weight. So maybe my goal might be now 10 reps, okay? Something like that. So let's increase a little bit. Let's see what I get here, okay? What I'm also doing, right, should be another, for another video, this is also a, called a pyramid set, okay? But that's, you know, you need more detail on what that is. We're just gonna go for, all right now I'm gonna still try to get 12. Let's see if I can do it. Remember, four matters all the way down lockout. Just because it gets heavier or harder, you still don't cheat. All right, chest up tall. You guys have been watching, here's some form checks. Chest up, elbows are in. All right, push it down. Finish the eight, that's still a plus. All right, eight reps is not bad, because that was actually harder. I went heavier, it was harder. So either I can continue with this, or like I said, you either wanna get stronger, you wanna do more reps, between eight and 12 is the max, okay? This is almost like, you can almost like really just follow this workout. I got one more exercise to show you, just to give you another idea of how progressive overloading works, and we're gonna be done for the day. All right, let's keep going. Oof. hard some people say I train extreme the reason is I know what it takes to get a good physique so one of the best things you can do is do unilateral movements okay unilateral means simply one side right one hand one side if I do bilateral it would just mean both hands so this right here is a high pulley cable fly okay most people you're gonna see are gonna do it just like this okay but here's the thing you never know if you really have an imbalance okay so what you want to do if you can do one side it works a lot more stuff. Isolate the core, work on balance, and it works specifically on one, on that specific area of the chest. Just the lower part and just one side, okay? So if I get fatigued faster on this side than I do on this side, you know you have a muscular imbalance. Now, the thing that I did here, right? All I did was add a squeeze at the end. Two second pause, okay? This is another form of progressive overloading, okay? Just a pause in it makes it harder 
or different than just, you know, doing the reps and adding weight, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna make this a little bit harder. My rep range is between eight and 12. So, ah, this is hard. Push it down. Uh, one, two. I want this thing locked out and my chest should be burning, right? You can do it for three seconds if you want. Two is good. One, two. Ah. One, two. It's only three. One, two, four. One, two. Ah, six. Oof. Oh my gosh. Eight. Mm. Oh, no, no, one more. Ah. Oh my gosh. That's how I should feel. I just gave you guys a full workout. Five exercises, push workout, chest, triceps. And I'm telling you, we still hit upper chest, middle, lower, tricep work, long head, short head, and I'm swole like I just did an hour and a half. So first exercise, I showed you guys how to increase weight and decrease the reps, okay? On number two, I showed you guys a shorter rest time, okay? We went from two minutes to a minute and a half. On number three, I showed you guys the concentric phase, right? We took four seconds down, we went right back up, okay? On number four, I showed you guys how to again, regular method of just getting the reps from eight to 12. I already went all the way to 12. And then we progressed in weight and we got down to like, I don't know if it was eight to 10 reps, okay? On our last one, all we did was squeeze two seconds at the bottom, all right? All of these tempos puts more stress on the body. So that's what you really wanna focus on when you're doing progressive overload. Putting more stress on the body, staying in the hypertrophy range of eight to 12 reps. This is how you're gonna grow, all right? You don't need a bunch of stuff. All you need to do is understand how to train your body and feel it, right? If you don't feel it, if you're not failing, then you're not training. Come to this channel, all you're gonna do is get good information on how you can keep transforming your body, getting better and better week by week, month after month, year by year, by just adding these uh, training methods to your, your regimen on a daily basis. So guys, please like, share, subscribe, watch this video again if you need it, and don't forget to leave me some feedback in the comments so I can keep bringing you different that's the training and more information that's going to help you on your fitness journey. See you guys next time.